How's it going guys? We got the back nine from Trickle Creek coming up. Um, and we got shot tracers. That's a pretty cool, you know what? You guys wanted them, you needed them, you asked for them, no one asked for them. But I put them in there anyways, I think it adds a little bit, something extra. Um, but we're going to try to get the back nine started off pretty good here. This is actually the next day. You can kind of tell it's a little bit smokier um, than the, the day before. So playing the back nine, um, hole number 10, hold up. Let me just bring bring up the scorecard here. So we got hole number 10. Um, that is 318 from the blues. Tight little landing area. We got the, we got the bunkers kind of on the right. You definitely want to get to that landing area. I hit a nice little low shot. Kind of was going a little bit more right than that lo that shot tracer was um, kind of protruding to. Um, ended up in this bunker here. Um, you know what? Look at the sun. Like that is crazy sun. Like smoky out. I'm just trying to hit this up. Um, hopping over. I don't want to go too far here. As you'll see, the green too far is no bueno. Um, and I barely get this out of the bunker. I said... Poof, I love the beach so much, I might just stay in it. But I got out barely, um, rolled down the hill just a tad. And yeah, you'll you'll kind of see this is, you know, obviously not the ideal play, chipping up I need to up and down from pretty far away here. So I think I just got my 60 degree, just trying to hit something up there, put it on, hit it pretty good. And if you can tell by that sh shot tracer, I'm going to have a tough time saying that, but that's actually behind the green. I thought it was deep woods off. I ended up just being short. Uh, low, lucky me. I got a nice little chip up here. So a uh, chip up for par. This is for four. Definitely not going in. That's for sure. Good chip though, actually. Good little arc on that. But as you know, chipping with that 60, that doesn't roll out. So that basically stopped right where it was. Poof, you can tell I'm having a struggle here on the, on the back nine already. Um... Hole 10, not a particularly difficult hole, but you got to you gotta place your shots. And that's kind of going to be the key, um, you know, going forward here. If I have a successful back nine, which I'm trying to do um, with this bogey putt here. Um, gave that a good run. You know, I got that to the hole. Not too bad. Now I'm nervous. I'm like, poof, this is for double. I don't want a three putt for triple. That was just going to be... Um, you know, that's going to be a disaster. Anyways, I made it. No worries there. I am a little bit, obviously, disappointed in that start. Um, but look at what we got here. Um, 152, apparently, from the Blues. This is Trickle Creek's signature hole. Um, just an elevated par 3. I actually have a 9-iron here. Um, just looking to... Um, to put that down, I, I, I was actually playing a little bit shorter than 152 today, so just trying to make sure I hit the green because um, I don't want to be short because there's a huge slope um, at the beginning of the green, and you, as you can see, it's it's down there. This is the, the drive down to um, 11 green, so you know, it's a pretty, uh, pretty senior drive. I'll just kind of let you enjoy that. Oh, never mind. I guess it's done. Anyways, got a birdie putt. Put it on the back of the green there. For some reason, that shot tracer didn't track on that one. I just didn't really feel like putting it in. But anyways, it was a pretty good shot, uh, I thought. Anyways, got a decent chance here for birdie. Um, if I can just kind of lag one close. And you know what? Putt that doesn't get there doesn't have a chance of going in. So unfortunately, um, nice little three-foot par here. Huh, or a lip out, lip out bogey. How about a three putt? This is, uh, you know what? That's the game of golf. It's a beautiful day, a little bit smoky, but um, you know what? Plain Trickle Creek, it is uh, a beautiful day, any day. Smoke or rain or sunshine. Hole number 12, three, 438 from the blues. Basically, you want to you want to pump one straight down. I pulled that a little bit more left than I wanted to. Um, but basically that'll land in that landing area and then you kind of have to, you can't really cut the corner because there's not really a fairway to the to the green, but that ended up kicking down a little bit to the rough, but there's a little bit of a fairway left to me there, but um, such a small landing area, it's tough to really kind of go around that corner. So just a little um, approach shot in here. And that one just didn't, I didn't come around on that shot. I think I just kind of hit that up. I've been doing that a lot lately just kind of hitting that out to the right 
you know, it wasn't even it wasn't even the club. It wasn't even there. So I don't know what happened there. So just a miss hit in general. Um, nice little chip up here though. Chipping has been, uh, you know, if I'm out if I'm out of the trees, chipping has been my my strong suit here. I've been I've been knocking down the chips fairly close. Almost drained that. Oh, that came very close. Um, and then proceeded to run, you know, way further by than I would like. So, anyways, that's how it goes. I can never, uh, can never get a break, but that was a pretty good chip, I thought. Just need a putt back here for uh, for par, I believe. One, two, three. This is for four. I'm not sure if I make this here, though. I feel like I really want this. Ah, oh, it just didn't break. Another bogey. That's a tough start to the back. Hey, double bogey, bogey. That's okay, though. We'll figure it out. You know, we ended, ended the front nine with double birdies. We could probably do the same here. Um, hole, uh, 13, thir yeah, we're on 13, hole 13, 489 from the blues, basically right smack 489. Um, I'm trying to cut the corner here because straight out, it's a long second shot and poof, boy, did I really cut the corner? I'm watching this and I actually think this is gone. I think this is, this landed for sure in the trees and, um, look at this. I, I just shake my head. I'm like, unbelievable. Why am I filming this? This is brutal. Actually, somehow made it through the trees. It landed through. It was pretty dry in there, apparently. Got through. Don't really have a good look at the green, though. Um, so just trying to kind of pop this up over the hill and uh, practicing my sprints. Obviously, that's okay. Um, didn't quite get there. Just a nice little chip up um, from about, you know, 60 yards or so. Maybe not even. I don't even know my distances. 40 yards, let's say. Try to pop this up. This is where 60 would be perfect. And you know what? That just got on. I I wish that I, you know, kind of went for that because that would have so sat really soft right by the pin. But it's okay. We, we, we get a birdie putt. Somehow out of those shots, this is a birdie putt. I don't really understand how that happened. This is a part five, by the way. So I'm really, I'm going after it. Poof. I went after it. There is just no consistency in my putting, but that's okay. Nice little comebacker for par, and I've missed these. I miss these often. Not today. There's a fist pump. That's a hard celebration for <laughs> for a par on par five. We'll take it. 14, 171. We got our first par three at the back nine. Honestly, all the par threes at Trickle Creek, very scenic. Um, love this one as well. Love the look on the par threes in the back nine. I like that. Uh, I like that tree in the bunker. Also, it's pretty good. Uh, I I kind of like that. I like when uh, when you don't mess with uh, the trees and you just kind of build around them, sort of like that. I like that. Anyways, luckily I wasn't in the bunker. I was almost in the bunker on the right side of the green, chipping up. I'm trying to just get this close. As I said before, my chipping has been pretty solid. That's going to be pretty good. Roll that out there. Yeah, the smoke is a little bit is a little bit thick today. Um, obviously, um, forest fires in BC burning rampant um, during this time and just blowing straight over um, the Kootenai region. So yeah, today woke up pretty smoky. Trying to knock this in for par. And you know what? I'm, this is what I'm thinking to myself: is, um, hey, you just knocked in this length of putt on the last hole for par. Why not do it again? You can do it twice in a row. Let's get a streak going. Boom! That's you know a little celebration there. But I'm fire. I'm pumped. I'm happy with two pars, honestly. Um, but you know, felt like ball striking was pretty good. Um you know, on the putter there. So that's, that's not too bad. Um, 15, 402, dog leg a little bit to the right. You kind of want to go over those bunkers. Like if you're hitting driver, you definitely kind of want to go up and over those bunkers. And that's basically, basically what I did there. Kind of put it a little bit deep past the fairway. Actually, I absolutely smushed this one. Um, just rolled into the rough. Not too bad, but I got the uh, the maintenance crew up there watching me. So now there's pressure, huge pressure. 
Just trying to stick this on the green. Get that gur. Pulled that a little bit, but the distance was pretty good. Um, back pin, obviously just set this camera up wide angle. Um, Cause I think this is gonna go in, but we'll see birdie opportunity again, not too bad. A few birdie opportunities in the last three holes, so. But you know what, again, you gotta get it there. Folks, if you if you want to make birdies, you must get it to the hole, and that is the tenor's tip of the day. Um, if it's not going to get to the hole, it's not going to go in. It's not going to get a chance to go in. So you want you want to make sure you get it there. And uh, I'm take I take a lot of time looking back at this footage. I take a lot of time over these like two three footers, um, and that's the reason why I usually miss I usually miss those uh, three putt bogey. That's not good. Um, Definitely a little bit dejected after that one. 16.380 straight away. This one is one you want to let the bombs out. You want to just rip this straight down the fairway. There's not a huge amount of trouble. And poof, I smushed that one. That one's down there. I'm, you know what? I think I got about 100 yards. That was like about 280, 290. Got the rally cap on backwards. I think that's going to change something. I'm kind of, I'm kind of testing the ground here. It seems a little bit... Um, a little bit soft, a little bit wet. Balls are just above my feet. Boy, and I just that club just went through that grass like a hot knife through butter, and went 50 yards and not even on the green. That's too bad. So I got myself another one of these elevated chips that I just gotta. I'm trying to think to myself. Hey, remember on on 13. Um, you were down below. Make sure you get it there because it's going to stop quick. And didn't quite get it there. I'm not really thinking. Thinking back, it's easy for me to watch this and say, hey, remember the last hole did, you did that? Why not do that again? Or do that? Do it differently? But, hey, that's the mental game of golf coming into play. Got this one pretty decent, decently uh, long for par. We'll see how this goes. I've obviously set this camera up to, to get the hole in there for a reason. I'm feeling confident. That's the confidence coming through. That's what I like to see. Ooh, and that, folks, is my biggest putt and biggest par of the day. That is, <laughs> that is, uh, I don't think I even expected that to go in. So that was, uh, you know, I'll take that par. Getting in front of the maintenance crew now. Just trying to get one down there. Uh, 17 par 5 again this one's tough this one's tough you can't see the full fairway and um once you kind of get over that hump everything kind of slopes left runs left a little bit um i actually kind of lost this off the tee look at me i'm kind of looking confused and i'm like i don't know if that bounced or kicked or what I actually got a good kick on the back side of that hill rolled down and just made it into the fairway so i um, happy with this this is a uh, you know, um, definitely, you know what, you look at this and you're like, you can go for the green. I wasn't feeling it, decided to punch up. Um, made sense after the, the first six holes in the back nine, seven holes in the back nine. Punched up, just tried to put it in the fairway. <laughs> Rolled it just by into the thick rough. Um, so I got myself about 100 yards pro shot uphill. Gorgeous looking rock wall here at Trickle Creek. Trickle Creek, actually one of the highest elevated course courses in Canada. Um, apparently Kimberly the town is one of the highest cities or towns in Canada. So it's not the smoke, you guys. It's the uh, it's the elevation. Or maybe it's the amount of swings I'm taking on the back nine here. So I'm not too sure. Anyways, put that one up on the green. Got a decent putt here for um, birdie again. This thing just keeps chugging along. This thing's like a train with a huge payload that just that the brakes just aren't working for. So that thing just continues to roll by. Um, again, not leaving myself uh, easy par putt. And boy, I'm, I, right now I'm, I'm not, I'm hoping, I'm hoping and it's not hoping, it didn't work. I was hoping and praying for not a three putt. Anyways, another bogey. I just, yeah, shrug my shoulders at this point. It's just not going my way, the putts aren't falling. Um, what can you do? What can you do? You know what? It's uh, 
good day golfing is better. Bad day golfing is better than a, a good day at work, right? So unless it's work, unless this is your job, and potentially you might be some conflict there. Hole 18, trying to finish strong, 378. Absolutely snap hook this and roll this into Adventureland. And hey, I said, why not go on an adventure? So let's go down into the bushes. I think I found a tailor made. Uh, I found a stick in my face is what I also found. Um, didn't look too far for it. Ended up just taking a drop. Um, red stake. I call that lateral. I call that a lateral. So let's go three from here. Not too sure if that's the right rules, but hey, we're shooting three. Get that down there. Um, pitching wedge, 130 approximately. Staring at this one for an extra long time. Just rolled that on the front of the green. And I think this one's gonna, just looking at where I'm aiming, this looks like I'm aiming off to the first tee, way off to the first tee. This thing, it came around a little bit, but it definitely didn't didn't come around as much as I thought. Um, so this for bogey, um, this for close up the round for five, a nice tap in. Oh my goodness, if I had a nickel for me every time that happened, double bogey to finish, that is a tough one. Um, but that's the back nine, Trickle Creek. Hey, we're done. Not too bad. Um, pretty sure I didn't lose a ball at all. So we'll finish, you know, back nine a little bit more than the front. No birdies. That's a little bit tough. Um, 44, front nine 43, full 87. A little bit tricky for me at Trickle Creek here. Um, but beautiful course in Game of DC. Happy to have me out. Um, love the course layout. Um, stay tuned. Hit that like, subscribe button. Obviously, if you've made it this far. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments what you loved about this video, where you want me to go next, and see you guys on the flip side.